Greetings and uh, God bless uh, each and every one of you that are watching this uh, segment of our Nuggets of Hope here at Love Gospel Assembly. Uh, we uh, especially give a warm welcome to our Love Gospel Assembly uh, family here in uh, the good old Bronx, New York. Uh, my name is Dave Carlo. For those of those, those of you that don't know me, I'm one of the pastors, pastor of missions here uh, at our local assembly. Uh, this March, we just uh, crossed over the one-year marker since uh, this uh, start of the COVID-19 virus and this pandemic that has literally brought a whole lot of devastation, uh, claiming the lives of, uh, of millions, uh, not only nationally, but uh, globally. Uh, the virus, uh, as we know, it's nothing new, has left a trail of destruction and of death. Uh, it has brought down businesses and economies. It has challenged our educational building. A lot of pressure has brought on our law enforcement officials and our court systems. And uh, just uh, one, one situation after another, just uh, despite uh, uh, the, the COVID-19 that we've had. Uh, the times, without a shadow of a doubt, have been filled with a whole lot of uncertainty, a lot of questions that people have with sometimes not that many answers for them, you know. And uh, without a shadow of a doubt, also, there's a lot of hopelessness that has filled the hearts of many. Uh, and so these times have really affected every system, every organization, including the church. It has affected uh, the church and has caused us as, as a church, as the people of God, uh, it has caused us to become more creative uh, and sort of reinvent ourselves in, in light of how we do ministry. Now Zoom is the big thing. Before this, a year and a half ago, I didn't know anything about Zoom. Now everything is Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. And it's a good thing because it allows us to see the faces that we're, we can't see when they're masked uh, and when we're together uh, yeah, at, our, at our churches. Uh, but for the past seven or eight months, uh, as a way to bring encouragement for those of you that are new watching us uh, and insight into the scriptures, we have, been, uh, we have brought a, a, a devotional series that we call Nuggets of Hope, which I told you, okay? And, and, and therein we have tackled various um, themes, and these themes were brought by various members of our leadership here at Love Gospel Assembly. And we just want to let you know that beginning at today, April 7th, and for the next several weeks, we're going to focus on the theme of missions and uh, specifically missions in an age of COVID, in an age of COVID. We know that despite uh, the reality of what we're going through, uh, uh, life goes on and the church must go on. The life of the church must go on. You know, this is uh, the church is a... Uh, 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 an, organ, an organism that God has uh, brought life into and given, given life with his, with his body. And so the church must go on and, and fulfill the, uh, the mandate that God has called us to. And we all know uh, there's so many verses in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John that speak about uh, what our mandate is just before Jesus left after his uh, death, burial, and resurrection, okay? He, he said in Mark 16, uh, 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 verse 18, to go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation and whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will, will be condemned, he says. And in Matthew 28, he says, therefore go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very age end of the age. And uh, these are verses that are, are very well known uh, by most Christians. We read them, we quote them, we memorize them. Uh, but the key thing here is, do we obey them? Okay. Uh, they contain our marching orders, our basics, our fundamental task, uh, our job description, uh, the reason that we exist, our purpose that should drive us as a people of God, as Christians that have... Uh, uh, receive the gospel message into our hearts. Uh, it should be our passion. It should be on the front burner of our hearts. It should be one of our daily considerations when we pray. These verses should develop in us a missions mindset, okay, and culture with the understanding that missions 
uh, within the biblical context, it's not a sidebar of the church. It's not a para ministry. It's not an optional choice. It's not an incidental. It's not an occasional topic, okay, for discussion. Uh, but it is the heart and purpose for which we exist, and and that's why Jesus gave us that mandate. Okay, uh, missions is not a human invention or conception or undertaking. It is. It did not originate with the disciples or with Paul or the founding fathers. Uh, but the origins of missions uh, is in God. Is in God. It's God's initiative. It comes and is directed by God. And as he calls uh, laborers into his mission field. Okay. So missions is about God. It's all about God's heart of love towards sinners, rebels, the unrighteous, the unholy, the lost and the perishing. And that was us, all humanity. And so the disciples, it's uh, amazing because they understood the instructions. The instructions were simple. There was no detailed handbook that Jesus gave them, okay? Uh, uh, it was concise in what Jesus demanded of them. It was brief uh, uh, but comprehensive, and they understood to a degree most of it, especially when the Holy Spirit fell upon them, okay? It was precise and clear. It made, re made real, like I said, by the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the time that uh, spent with them, Jesus was the curriculum, you know? Jesus was the one that was teaching them in every theme and every aspect about the kingdom of God. There were no healing seminars. There was no professional development classes or discourse on hermeneutics or homiletic classes or systematic theology 101, no 101 classes, uh, no 101 ways to how to exercise a demon out of someone. It was basically uh, with the disciples, it was on the job training. And uh, it was much more than just sending money or bringing missions awareness, but it involved going. And they understood that. They were being sent. Jesus said in John some uh, 20 or 21, it says, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. And so that's why we want to look at missions, because uh, as hard as is, uh, as hard and difficult as it, is, as it has been for the church here in the United States, you could imagine how difficult and the challenges that our missionaries face that in other countries like Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, in South America, in various places of Africa uh, where the gospel is not... Uh, uh, is not appreciated. Some of it, some of the, uh, in some places, has never been heard. So, what we're doing uh, during this time, uh, our theme, uh, we're going to have uh, various missionaries that are actually going to be uh, bringing forth a word, bringing forth a nugget from us. These are people that have been and are on the mission field, okay, for the next several weeks. We're going to have uh, Jeanette Tirado, who's a missionary in. Peru in the Amazon jungles of Peru, Pastor Valerie Rivera, who's in Lima, Peru. We're going to have our, our own Pastor Jose Alvarez, which many of us know, and uh, uh, ministering. Uh, he ministers the, uh, with the Love Kitchens in so many different parts, uh, but many of them in Guatemala. And we're going to have our brother Elliot Morales, who is ministering to the Lakota Indians in South Dakota. We're going to have two sisters. One of them is literally in Iraq, and she's going to send us a video from there. And you're going to, you're going to really, uh, I think that uh, I'm really anxious to hear what she has to say. And, and they'll be with us also. And all of this will be leading into our missions weekend in uh, the third week of May. So we're excited about this. We hope you get excited about it. We pray you uh, keep this in prayer. And uh, just remember that, uh, let's remember our missionaries, okay? That's what uh, the writer to the Hebrew says. Remember those who are in, uh, uh, in persecution, really, uh, as you uh, uh, are in, almost like if you're in persecution with them, okay, to remember them. So we pray that God gives us a passionate desire to really uh, see his glory in the nations. And that's what God is doing. He's, he wants the nations of the world to come to know him. And we have these unique brothers and sisters, courageous, bold, that have crossed uh, national lines, gone into the most difficult places to bring the gospel message. And so we're going to honor them, especially during this, uh, during this time, okay? So we bless you. We pray you're well. God bless you, and 
Um, uh, pray you look forward to these times together. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us in this week's Nuggets of Hope. As you know, the theme for this series is missions in the time of COVID, in the time of the pandemic. The first um, nugget was Pastor David Carlo. And I think Pastor David Carlo said it well when he said that the church is an organism that God has given life to with his body so that we must go to fulfill our mandate, as in Mark 16, 18. This is a reminder to all of us that God is not just calling a church that may happen to have a missions department. No, he's calling for something greater. He's calling for his people to be a missional people, a missional church. And as a missional church, Missions is not just a project to be completed by certain people or by a small group that happen to be members of the church. On the contrary, the missional church is the instrument through which God sings the message of the gospel to a broken world. Every believer, each and every one of us, is called to be a disciple engaged in missions. Our hope is that as you listen to each of the testimonies of the different missionaries, that you don't listen just to hear the story of, or their testimonies, but you listen with ears guided by the Holy Spirit to learn, to glean steps and ways that we can continue the mission that God has called for each and every one of us. We are disciples with a mission, that, with a missional call. It's not a department, it's not a program, it's not a project, but missions is the essence of the church. I hope you enjoy each and every one of the nuggets. God bless you.